Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter D. Master of Hobbits. Today, joined by Brett. I'm Adam Mycees, drinking some more Bottle Logic. Uh, and this one is supposed to be really good. They just, I think not too long ago this year, they put out a new version of this. Mm -hmm. But this is a tweak on Dark Star November, and this is their Scatter Signal, a barrel aged mocha stout. So, Dark Star November is their rye whiskey barrel aged rye stout. Yeah. And then this is taking that as kind of a base, or I think it's rye stout in burn barrels actually, but uh, they take that as a base and aged in burn barrels of course, and then afterwards they condition it on coffee. They already have a version of that called Red Eye November, but then it's that also treated with cacao nibs and marshmallows. Brett is not a big fan of marshmallows in beer, but this is very highly rated, so you know, yeah. I don't know. They also call it a mocha it, stout. It, it can so. work if it's not bombed out with marshmallow. Yeah. Uh, 14.8% alcohol, so a massive beer. Mm. And there's a quote from Sun Tzu on the label here that says, let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and we got this uh, American uh, stealth fighter on here, a Nighthawk. F-170. F-170. The expert on the side. I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let's check this one out. The last coffee stop we had from these guys was uh, Fort of Um Umibuzu. Yeah. So That's that fun. was up yeah. there. But it's something to live up to. <laughs> but the next coffee stop we might have after this from these guys is uh, Somniphobia, the collab with Voodoo, and that's also really highly rated. And we also got the base, the deck crop something. Yeah. Um, coming soon. So yeah, this is black. It looks like a barrel aged stout. You know, it has that like kind of light, flimsy looking head some you get yeah. on some barrel aged beers, but otherwise nice and tan. It looks kind of like mocha. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like what you'd expect. So let's take out the aroma. Oh, a yeah. Huge vanilla profile for yeah. me. And it smells more like vanilla to me than marshmallow. Yeah. Luckily. Um, but it's like a like heavily bourbon, vanilla, dude. almost like. Um, uh, uh, like vanilla concentrate kind of thing that's yeah. dumped into some some coffee. Yeah, almost. I think it's just the often I've heard that a lot of people are starting to associate Madagascar vanilla beans with concentrate and stuff like that. Okay. Because the 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 Madagascar vanilla bean is the vanilla bean you always try to emulate when you do it. Yeah. And apparently the reason why that's quoted from side project, the reason why they do Ugandan vanilla beans is that they give this more, more intense fudgy kind of profile in the final beer. And mm. that's now also because of that, it's become kind of like all brewers now want to use Ugandan vanilla beans. Mm. But a lot of time, if it has a product in with flavoring, it's trying to imitate Madagascar. And often you'll find beers that actually have Madagascar vanilla beans, yeah. but they don't have like that dark fruit. You almost think it's like this, just really pure, crazy vanilla thing that you almost think smells or tastes fake. But yeah. it's just because that's what extracts emulate. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely getting a huge, like, sweet yeah. vanilla thing. Yeah, loads and of, like, yeah, sweet vanilla and also leathery. Yeah, underneath there's definitely some coffee, but you can t smell that the coffee is definitely subdued because of age. This is from last year. Um, but it's there. I think there's also bourbon and there's definitely, like, van vanilla-y wood profiles. Yeah, that probably boosts that. Marshmallow is thing. Yeah, and then there's a soft, just like milk chocolate almost, or something yeah. underneath, like or just like straight coconuts, really. Yeah, but but it's soft. It's, but it's kind of sugary because of that marshmallow. Yeah, I agree with that. It's it's towards that, but um, yeah, yeah. Let's see how it is. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. It certainly doesn't taste sugary. It's really spicy. There's so much rye. Yeah. The rye really cuts that sugary marshmallow, it which is quite nice. tastes very different from, uh, from, how, from how it smells. Yeah. Huge spicy rye profile, yeah. man. It's like, I think it's one of the more rye forward stouts I've had in a long time. There's so much of it. Mm. And also like a really, I like almost want to say raw barrel character, like a huge oomph of like big raw kind of tasting bourbon. Um, yeah, and then yeah. the vanilla again, it reminds me of Madagascar vanilla beans yeah. more so in the flavor. The aroma is more marshmallow, the flavor I think is more like Madagascar vanilla. But I'm also getting a lot of like this kind of cigar leathery mm -hmm. thing, mm. but, but it's like su sweet Chari. somehow because of that, you know, yeah, that, that marshmallow thing is still there, so it kind of 
sweetens it a bit, but then there's also that rye spice thing. Yeah, it's <laughs> huge, and it's like really charry too. There's a lot of charry wood. Yeah, yeah licorice almost. Yeah. The co coconut is really like a small touch. Like, mm. I think if you didn't tell me, I, I would just think it's like chocolatey flavor from some kind of maybe chocolate rye or chocolate malt. Uh, but it's like, it's almost slightly old school actually because it's so like spicy and like it has a, it's not a heavy roast profile, but it's like much more roasted than you find in like other hyped stouts, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's really good. But I don't think it's world class. I think some people have deemed it as world class, but you know, mm. I'm just not as forward as uh, I, I feel. But like I also feel, feel it lacks maybe a bit on like the mouthfeel and the base. Yeah, I it's, think so. It's like it's got a spritzy carbonation. It's not like super mm. thick or anything. It's got a rich body, but like mm. we've also been on a roll with crazy hype beers. But I I would put this as the same grade as Arcane Ritual. It's like a ninety four. I think it's really good. Yeah. But I'm just not like going world class. Yeah. And I'm really glad, as you said, like with a, it's not all sugary marshmallow on the flavor. Yeah, There's yeah. so much spicy rye and barrel that yeah. cuts it. But it's crazy how much you get of that in the aroma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I was really afraid for a second. But I'm totally seeing what Corey talks about with Madagascar vanilla tasting similar to the fake aromas. Or yeah, or like, mm, yeah, marshmallow. <laughs> oh, marshmallows, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I totally see it. Like we have Madagascar vanilla in the cabinet. It smells like that. Mm. Uh, which is really interesting. It's just like crazy to think there's such a different, you know, there's like terrar to vanilla beans even. Like, yeah. It would have been fun to try that whole terrar series they did. Yeah. Uh, with, they did um, fundamental observation, but with vanilla beans from all over the world in a whole set. And I actually could have gotten as a set, but I was hesitant and didn't get one. So. Yeah. But it was also expensive. So. Yeah. But this was at the brewery at cost. So. Yeah. Okay. But, oh well. This was nice. Yeah. Worth the shot for sure. Worth trading for as well because it doesn't trade like crazy. Uh, but yeah, I would also like more coffee, but I think it's just the age. Yeah. I think the coffee that's there is nice, but it's a slight kind of green coffee bean kind of thing. Mm. Uh, not, nothing crazy, you know. Yeah, but you sense the coffee kind yeah. of, it's well, was meant to be there more than mm. it is now. Mm. But um, I also think they say to drink this fresh or... Yeah. Oh, it actually doesn't say. Like it used to say cellar and save or... Uh, Mm. Uh, drink fresh, but it actually doesn't on this bottle. It just says hot, what temperature to store it at. Ah, oh. 40 degrees Fahrenheit. But it's very good. It's very nice. So, if you guys had a chance to try Bottle Logic's Scatter Signal Imperial Mocha Stout, let us know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, to the Facebook fan page, and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell for future notifications about videos, and we're going to say cheers. Yep. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.